servos to the fellow citizens, sovereigns, denizens, whatever you deem yourself to be. There's something I've wanted to kind of cover for a while now and haven't touched on it. I've, I've given all the information in uh, the group tactical sovereignty, but I'm going to do a little video on it just because I see so much talk about it. And, you know, hat tip to people like Jedward Griffin, who has brought this up, a uh, creature from Jekyll Island. Uh, I also actually created a playlist on YouTube called The Real Creature from Jekyll Island. I would recommend people check that out, because there's even more behind the story than what people realize. But this all comes down to money and what people think money is. And if you really just look up the definition of what money is, uh, money is an agreed upon medium of exchange. Which means that uh, even barter and trading could fall into the money category. But most people point to the Constitution, uh, they point to uh, Article 1, Clause 10, Section 1 of the Constitution, which has a lot of great info in it. So if you go to the company rules as to what they say, they say that all payments shall be done in gold and silver. And that don't, states don't have the authority to uh, print their own. Well, you know what? That's very good. In fact, that's powerful. A, a lot of people hate against it. I don't understand why they hate against it. Because they want to claim that the USD or the Federal Reserve note, oh, it's not gold and silver, so it's not payment. You're right, it's not payment. Why do you think that they can go and seize property, seize homes, seize vehicles, and things of that nature? The reason why is because those things were purchased under their jurisdiction, under their coin of the realm, which is the United States dollar or the Federal Reserve note. Um, I'm not sure what people really expected uh, from the government or Congress to do when it comes to coining money, because everything they do, they farm out to somebody else to do it. Everything that they've given authority to. that They can't possibly do all these things themselves. Uh, do you think the uh, President of the Senate or the Speaker of the House is supposed to set up, you know, printing presses in the hallways of Congress and be printing money themselves? I mean, come on. Oh, you didn't know that the Speaker of the House, actually, uh, the uh, Senate is also termed a president. Yeah, Kamala Harris. She's the president of the Senate. Kind of an interesting side note. If you take the K from Camilla and put it at the end of her name, You've got Amalek. Amalek in the Old Testament, uh, God said he would be warring with forever. And that's kind of a curious side note. But even if you look at the United States dollar, the Federal Reserve note, it says on there that it's good for legal tender for all debts, private and public. Well, but maybe there's a problem. Are you using it publicly or are you using it privately? So one of the things I've tried to show people is how you can actually move into the private with your affairs, which is something else that Article 1, Clause 10, Section 1 talks about. It talks about the right of your private contract between two individuals and that the state cannot impede upon it. it, it it's a powerful article right there. I recommend people check it out. But when it comes to money, I, I think people are missing out on a lot of power that they can have. Especially since we know that their authority exists in their coin of the realm. Their coin of the realm literally would be the Federal Reserve note or the United States dollar, the USD. So once you start operating your affairs differently, then guess what? A lot of the things that would be requirements under the Federal Reserve no, no longer exist. 
it's even interesting if uh, you look into tender of payment under UCC, uh, Uniform Commercial Code, which really governs the contracts in general as far as how everything is taken care of. That way everybody's on an even playing field. If you look at that, they either kind of interchange, they do the wordplay, and they do an interchange between the words payment and the words tender and discharge and set off. Because like I said in the beginning, you've never paid for anything. The United States dollar or the Federal Reserve note is only good for discharge and set off. That's it. I, if you have a question, I would challenge you, uh, contact any like high-ranking authority you can find on it. Contact a judge, specifically like a bankruptcy judge. They all know there is no such thing as payment. There's only discharge and set-off when you're using the Federal Reserve note. I've looked into various cases especially like drug smuggling cases where people were operating instead of using the USD or FRN, they were using like Bitcoin or things like that. And even those judges kind of had to sit back and wonder, gosh, I'm not sure if I have jurisdiction over that because it's not the FRN or the USD makes a big difference. People got to pay attention to the wording that's used. Uh, it might be ever so slight, and you can't read things and think, well, I, I know what they mean. I know what their intention is. No, it, it, in legal writings, there's no such thing as, I know what they mean. No, what is written is what is meant. Bottom line, that's just the way it works. This was just kind of a, a little short spout out on, you know, how these things operate, how money really operates, because it doesn't have to be long. It's really, really simple. Unfortunately, it seems like a lot of the gurus or different people out there haven't read the same constitution I've read or read the same books or read the same uniform commercial code that I've read. Um... They just listen to what other people spout and run with it. They don't do that. I recommend everybody. Go in, research for yourself, and if I can, in the description box of this video, I will throw a short article listing some of these links. So you've got some direction ahead in. And I want everybody to have a wonderful evening. Uh, we're coming up on the winter holy days and the summer solstice. Hey, maybe those are things you should all be paying attention to also. Hey everybody, be well.